Hey guys and welcome back to Skilling. Have you ever wondered how a bookshelf is actually able to take the load of all the books that you keep on it? On the face of it, it might seem like a very silly question, but the answer to it is very complicated. Over the years, scientists and engineers have perfected a method to find out complicated answers to such simple questions using a method called finite element analysis or FEA. FEA is the application of mathematics to find solutions to engineering problems that involve partial differential equations. So in order to understand FEA, we first need to understand partial differential equations. An equation like x is equal to y plus 2 is a simple linear equation which you can solve and plot on a graph without making any calculations. But a partial differential equation isn't this straightforward. If we consider Newton's second law, which states that a force acting on an object is equal to the change in momentum over time, this can be represented by the equation f is equal to m into a, where m is the mass of the object and a is the acceleration. This equation can also be rewritten as f is equal to m into dv by dt, where v is the velocity and t is the time, because acceleration is nothing but the change in velocity over time. So in order to find out the force acting on the object, we must first find out its acceleration. As you might have guessed, the value of force changes over time because when the object is stationary, it has no acceleration, which can only change over time and not instantly. In fact, even the mass can change over time. For instance, the mass of a rocket which burns fuel as it travels towards space. So in this case, the differential equation would become f is equal to dmv by dt. So if we go back to the bookshelf, we need to consider the weight of each book that is placed on the shelf and even the distribution of weight of these books across the length of the shelf in order to understand how strong it is. Real-world problems are defined mathematically using partial differential equations and FEA is used to find an approximate solution. You can even create virtual models of the objects you are studying and visualize the points of interest. Let's look at another example. If I have a beam and I place a load on it, the beam will bend because of the forces acting on it. But how does the beam bend? In order for me to understand that, I first need to understand the material the beam is made of. Then, instead of studying the entire beam as a single unit, I divide the solid portions of the beam into smaller units called subdomains, and I study the effect of the load applied on each of these subdomains. Once I have the answers for each of these subdomains, I can reassemble the answers to get one single solution that will approximately represent the effect of the load placed on the entire beam. Similarly, while designing an automotive part, it is necessary to consider the effects of load, vibrational disturbances, and other factors contributing to potential failure. In such scenarios, FEA comes to the rescue. FEA predicts how external loads or other disturbances affects the system by calculating the effect of each disturbance on each subdomain. FEA spots errors and tends to develop legitimate solutions in the design phase itself. A real-time model is generated and finite elements are precisely defined. The working conditions such as operational loads or temperature ranges need to be specified to make the calculations. The results can be reviewed and the models can be redesigned if necessary. This cuts off excessive time and material costs. FEA also predicts any disparities in production to improve working efficiency. It also aids in developing new designs for products or modifying existing products to suit new requirements. In one shot, FEA decodes physical behavior and helps identify the optimized design. It forms the ground for development in almost all engineering disciplines like production and manufacturing, aerospace and aeronautical engineering, materials and metallurgy, and electronics. FEA helps in identifying the root cause of a problem and coming up with solutions quickly and effectively. It enables engineers to visualize complicated problems and come up with better solutions and products for us every day.